name is Jasmine Storm and I'm currently in my second year of my master's program here at the University of Winnipeg and my lab studies cell and molecular biology in particular. One of the tenets of our research is to look at an animal model. So we collected organs, so like all the major peripheral organs as well as regions of the brain. Milk is not just food. Milk is full of biological molecules that are really important for a child's development. And my lab is studying milk nanovesicles, which are little fat-coated molecules that are present in mammalian milk uh, that carry genetic information from the mother to the child. So this is one of the whole brain samples that we collected. What my research is focusing on is whether these milk nanovesicles are able to promote anti-inflammatory effects and whether they're able to kind of reverse neuroinflammation and activate any other beneficial pathways that are in the body. So I'm specifically focusing on the heat shock protein response, which is a beneficial pro-survival pathway in the body. Just making sure that the liquid nitrogen is on the organ at all times. I was born in Vancouver, but have lived in Victoria, BC for most of my life. I moved to Manitoba in September of 2022 to start my research. Jump it out. What originally drew me to Winnipeg and to this lab in particular is I've always had an interest in cancer research and how naturally derived molecules can be used for drug delivery and therapeutics. I think I'll be staying in Manitoba, depending on what programs um, I get accepted into, but I really like it here, and especially at the UW. There's a lot of really diverse research, and it's more intimate. Like, the university here and U of M, they're a little bit smaller, so there's more of a sense of community here. So, really, really easy to get along with everyone, be exposed to all the different research that's happening, and especially with like milk nanovesicle research, there's a lot of different labs not necessarily milk nanovesicles, but looking into human milk and like the therapeutic potential of that here in Manitoba. So I hope to stay um, if, if you'll have me. <laughs> yeah.